and we're getting a great shot this morning of Mother Nature over the horizon here. Mount Chiha, the infield of the Talladega Super Speedway, not sunlit yet, but you can already see that the skies are brightening up over the horizon. It'll look beautiful from your couch if you look outside once the sun comes up, lots of sunshine, but a west wind right now turning northwest at eight miles per hour in Coleman and Birmingham too. That has you feeling like 17 degrees. That's what it feels like outside when you combine the air temperature with the wind. Feels like 20 in Birmingham, feels like 28 right now heading into Gadsden. This is our WVTM 13 live Doppler. It's all in real time. We're not going to be tracking any rain today and even as we head into tomorrow, we still stay dry. The temperature trend, that's going to be the really big story. We top out at 44 degrees today. That's the high temperature. We don't get close to average high temperatures until Friday back in the 60s. So of course, a lot of messy weather for portions of northern Illinois into Indiana and into Kentucky as well. For us though, just those very thin upper level clouds that create the beautiful sunrise shots. No rain. Most of the action stays to our north. We still do have a nice ridge of high pressure that keeps us dry until we get into Wednesday night and Thursday. That's when we will be increasing that humidity and setting the stage for a potentially stormy Saturday, which of course a lot of tailgaters may be heading to Atlanta for the game and that ride might be filled with some storms. So download that WBTM 13 app and then you will have no trouble even if there's lightning detection and detected in your area. All you need to do is open up the app and put in your location whenever you get to Atlanta. That way you'll get the accurate warnings. 44 degrees, that's the high. 25 tomorrow morning, 50 on Wednesday. We do see that rain chance increasing as we move into the weekend because of the humidity levels bumping up. So temperatures won't be as cold, but Saturday is an impact day, so we could be potentially tracking some storms on Saturday. The timing, though, is still really one of those things where it could potentially be more along the lines of the afternoon and then start to move out by Saturday night.